the role of education is to help students to learn. And the people who do that are not the policy makers or the superintendents, it's the teachers who do that. So the heart of education is the relationship between teachers and learners. That's what it's about. And everything else should be focused on making that the best relationship possible. And the problem is that over time, all kinds of things have got in the way of it. Trying to improve education, trying to transform it, trying to get good work in great schools isn't some unfathomable mystery like curing certain diseases seems to be. We kind of know what works. I mean, there are great places all around the world already doing it. Uh, the problem lies in the insistence of some policymakers, I think, uh, that everything has to be done in the same way, that they, they are promoting a kind of homogeneity and really interesting learning environments are not homogeneous, they're diverse and they, they adapt and they change and they are suited to different sorts of purposes. There's freedom to move, there's freedom to use different sorts of materials, freedom to collaborate and to interact with other people, um, and to work on projects as well as to work quietly on, on theoretical tasks. So uh, the best learning environments are the ones that do that, they embody the variety of learning. We asked one of the teachers if he would direct it and he agreed to do that. And uh, it went very well. And the following year we did another one. It came up a third time and we said to him, would you direct it? And he said, you know, I can't, I haven't got time to do it. And then he said, so, you know, I, I did say I couldn't direct the play this year, but I do have a suggestion, I think Ken should direct it. Well, I nearly passed out because it had never crossed my mind that I could direct a play or that anyone in the group would agree to it. I just didn't feel I had that relationship with them. I thought, you know, the director is somebody who has to preside over this whole thing. But they all just looked around and said, great idea, great. And I was terrified. But, you know, I learned a long time ago that you shouldn't walk away from things that trouble you. you know, the best way to deal with the fear is to go straight towards it and try and get hold of it. Partly because of that experience and probably doing what I do now can be traced back to some extent to that little divergent point. And if he'd not said, will you direct the play, I'd probably be running a bar somewhere now in Warrington. If you recognise that it is a human system that's dynamic and is changing, it makes the, the task more plausible. So I always say to teachers, uh, if they ask me, they say, how can I change the system? Well, the first thing is to recognise that you are the system, that everyone in the system is a manifestation of the system. So if you change what you do, you are changing the system. And the interesting thing about this to me is that there is much more room for innovation in the system as it is than very many people seem to realize.